Ooh, yummy. Black sunflower seeds. Ooh, I can't resist. You never know what's coming your way with Ladybug Adventures. I bring you mouse traps, archery videos, car cam videos, DIY projects, and computer builds. Don't forget to subscribe. I just wanted to show you this one trap that I made uh, a while ago that has been one of my most successful traps where I can catch, well, one mouse. Isn't it cute? There you go. Aww. Can I touch it? I can also catch two mice. And man, one time I've even caught four mice. But unfortunately the container is a little too small to hold all four. Now this next trap I called the dragon's mouth. No, not this dragon's mouth. Or this. This is the real dragon's mouth. And this is just really made out of simple materials. A small juice bottle, a piece of wire, scrap metal, and a couple of the small magnets. And really, again, this took me about 20 minutes to make. Uh, the, really, the hardest part was just figuring out the, the door and how to hint, get the hinge to work properly without it uh, hitting anything. Other than that, uh, everything else is just, you know, if I made the legs too short for the trap, then I just simply glued a little bit more, as you can see there. And the hot, it's just everything's just simply hot glued into place. And if you used heavier materials, like a glass bottle, you wouldn't have to use the magnets necessarily. The how it works is pretty simple. The mouse can enter through any from front or the sides. And the pivot, it's basically weighted a little bit more forward, so it tends to close on the forward, on the entrance side. And when the mouse walks to the back of the trap, that's what lifts up the legs of the lid, and then the lid snaps shut and because this bottle is so light um, it doesn't it won't keep the door shut so I had to use some magnets so this is the first night I put it out and I find it very interesting uh, the behavior of the mouse when something new comes out it really doesn't just jump in there it it goes and it comes back and it goes and it comes back and uh, it does this quite a bit it really investigates what it's uh, about to enter and of course it can smell as it sticks its head a little bit further in comes back out and then let's go a little bit further in and then come back out um, and it can really smell it and the funny thing is what happens here is it goes in it doesn't go to the back of the trap far enough so that it doesn't uh, cause it to pivot it gets some food out and actually takes it to its storage or its home I guess and then comes back for more and of course he has to go a little bit further back and unfortunately didn't catch the actual tilting but there you go we got it first night and pretty much it goes back and forth all night until I come get it in the morning well it made it through the night and well because it is a live trap I do let it go well thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the dragon's mouth See you in the next one.